It was so sunny this morning, but now it's absolutely pouring. Did you hear the thunder just now? Good thing we got all the clothes indoors before the skies opened up. I apologize for troubling you with this task. Don't worry about it. I was just passing by and thought I could help. I know how frustrating it is to have your newly dried clothes soaked by rain. Oh. What's wrong? We managed to keep all of the clothes dry, didn't we? It's just... odd. Every time it's my turn to wash the clothing, there's a sudden downpour. Surely it must just be an inconvenient coincidence. But I can't help feeling as though I'm somehow to blame for it. Ah, I see. That probably is your fault. Wow. You're even harsher than I am. You have a crest of Karen, don't you? I do, yes, but... Hold on a moment. How did you know that? I can just tell. I have a crest of Karen, too. And I've noticed that, whenever I need dry weather, there's rain. Don't you think it's our crests making the rain fall upon us? How had I never connected this? This is quite a revelation. A crest affecting the weather. <laughs> well, I don't know how true it is. There are only the two of us, which is a pretty small sample of people. I suppose that's true. So, we must test our hypothesis. Hmm. Maybe we can find someone who tends to bring the sunshine around. That would be especially handy for helping out with the wash. Now there's an idea. Lysithia. Do you have a moment? I do. What do you need to speak with me about? I was thinking about the time we talked about our crests bringing bad weather. Hmm, yes. We never did get to test that theory since I haven't found any sun bringing folks. Joking aside, each crest is unique in how it impacts the bearer's life. I've seen more than my share of crest bearers after all. Some of them bore crests of Karen like us, some even bore crests of Gloucester. Certainly, but I don't see your point. I'm not a crest scholar. I don't know all the details. I have a knack for guessing a person's crest just by looking at them. Forgive me, but do you have two crests? Uh, um, well? You don't have to tell me. I mean, it shouldn't even be possible to bear two crests. So, if you do have two, you must be sitting on some major secrets. It's nice to know that someone understands. Of course. Everyone has things they would rather not talk about. For all you know, Catherine's not my real name. Maybe I'm an outlaw on the run from my homeland. That can't be true, can it? Stop messing with me. <laughs> I was kidding. Though, who knows? Maybe there is some truth in it. My point is, no matter what secrets we're keeping, I'm still me, and you're still you. I do worry a little about you. You never seem to let your guard down around other people. That can't be easy. You know, it's important for you to relax once in a while. I don't even know the meaning of the word. That's easy. Just gab with your friends about something pointless, and the stress will fade away. I'm always happy to chat, if you're interested. Well, thank you. Why are you being so kind to me anyway? I just feel a certain kinship with you. We both have crests of Karen, and we both have secrets we can't share with anyone. I see. I will say I'm happy to have someone around who actually seems to understand me. Good. You can feel comfortable with me. Since we have the same crest, we're basically sisters. Aww. I... I really like that. Someone as wonderful as you is my big sister? Well, don't you just say the cutest things. That's my little sister for you.